Welcome to the Sunday Morning Funnies. Later on this week, we'll be starting a series on uh, Pete's interaction with certain police officers and, and certain car chases and uh, some funny stories and some serious stories about uh, the possibility of, uh, of Officer Wendling uh, actually threatening to kill Pete and take his life. So uh, we'll find out if that was a true story and how it happened and why such animosity towards uh, Pete LaFrosha. But for this morning, we're going to go ahead and have the Sunday morning funnies, a funny story about Pete and, uh, and, some, and, a, and a present for his daughter. So enjoy, and I'll catch you guys at the end. Copy of the chin hat uh, with Pete's signature on it and, and personalized to you. Uh, that's uh, going to be something that we can do so we can help support the channel with the merchandise. And then you can have something from Pete as well. Okay. Uh, something personal and a personal note from Pete that you can wear with you wherever you go and take it off and show your friends. Hey, here's what Pete said about me, right? We'll put a lining in there for you. And I'm working with the, a couple of manufacturers to try to get that done. So if you guys like that, please tell us. Uh, if you like that idea, tell us on here. Happy Sunday to you. Happy Halloween, guys and girls out there. I think we tell one animal story a day. We start with the horse. Okay, okay, just the horse story. We'll tell the horse story today. Right. So it's my daughter's birthday coming up, yo. Yep. And she asked, she said, Dad, I want a pet for my birthday. I said, okay, yeah, I get you a pet for your birthday. So ever since I was a kid, yo, I went to tap dance clubs. I was a real good all the weddings I went to, I was a little uh, ring bearer. I was always promised a horse by the by, the, by my aunts and uncles. I never got nothing. I got, I got a stick with a pony head on one time. They knew that I wanted a real horse. I said, okay. What they use for romper room? <laughs> the stick with yeah. the pony. So, so, so Jimmy, so Jimmy says, he's go, he goes to these auctions, right? Because he used to buy good thoroughbreds and we sell them, right? He knew horses, right? So we're out in Jersey, right? And we're going to this, uh, like, oh, the auctioneer place. And I was sitting in the bleachers with him, right? And they do it, she's coming to the end of the, uh, the uh, auction. And out comes this guy with this little black and white pinto. A little guy who's cute as shit. And I'm looking at him. I said, Jimmy, I want the boss. He said, Pete, I want the horse, Jimmy. So Jimmy goes, okay. Jimmy White's a pay $50, right? So now I got an LTD 1969 four door board, right? And he said, how are you to get him in here? I said, Jimmy, hold, tie him up for a minute, get on the other side of the car. We're gonna rip the back sheet out. So we rip the whole back sheet out, right? And I, Jimmy's pushing, but I'm leaving. Finally, get him in. We shut the doors, right? That's how small he was. He fit in there. You, so the, you had to put the head out the window, though, right? Yeah, yeah. We, well, cool. I was in there. I don't want him name spitting on me. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we opened up the, and we, we got to go from Jersey now back to Brooklyn. And we drive, and people were looking like, "What the fuck?" They didn't believe he was real until he started ee, like that. You know? So we get to the toll booth, right? And the guy looks, and the horse sticks his head out. He says, is that a remote control horse? Is that one of the battery operated ones? And the horse goes, me! Fucking back to me. He says, go, get out of it. So we get, we get him back to Brooklyn. So uh, I don't know what to do. I got to fuck up. What's where I'm going to put him, you know? I, I was always too, uh, I get too excited sometimes. I do things around thinking. So I go to my friend. Yeah, you and me both. We, we, we're a little, uh, you know. So, you know, uh, pedal to the metal kind of people. <laughs> so, I got a friend that owns a catering hall, right? And across the street, he owns this big ass lot. So, I go to him, I said, Ralphie, I got, I got a problem. He said, What's the matter, Pete? So, I tell him oh, that way I tell you a story about this guy. He says, I got a problem. He said, What's the matter? I said, I, I bought this pony for my daughter's birthday, right? And I got no way to put it. He said, Pete, you could tie him up in a lot, but that ain't right. I said, Ralph, can I just. Leave him there for a little while and I'll fit, fix this up. So I said to Jimmy, we're going to put him over there and you're going to come with me. So we went to this U-Haul place, right? We got a nice little 14 quarter box truck, right? Which they happened to lend this without knowing it. <laughs> so we drove it to the we lot. Took the box, right? <laughs> we took it to the lot, right? We drove it to the lot, unbolted all the U-Bolts, right? And Jimmy yeah. tied it to the back of the Ford and we both went different ways. Boom, the box drops. We brought the truck back. I brought the truck back. So we got the box. So first thing we got to do is paint it. Right? So you we paint the box? Yeah, you paint the box, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, we paint the box, right? Now I had the two doors open like that, right? I said, Jimmy, I gotta do something. She says, what? So I go get the- uh, uh, Hold on it. I make a hole for a window, right? I, I, I make it nice, right? And uh, so it's next day is my daughter's birthday. 
So I said to my mother, come on, show what I got for her birthday. Let's, and we bring her, her name is Tara. She's probably about nine years old at the time, right? So yeah. we get to the spot and she's looking around, Dad, what are we doing here? Where's my birthday present? I said, it's right here. She said, where, Doc? I don't see nothing. I said, it's over there. She looks at this whole beat up old box and she says, so bring me over there. I said, it's in there. Dad, I said, Tara, go take a look. <laughs> so she's walking closer, that's she's walking closer, she hears noise in there. She said, Dad, I hear noise in there. I said, well, that's your birthday present. She said, she said, I said, open the door. And she opens one door and his little pony stuck his head out. Well, let me tell you, this kid's face was worth a million dollars. <laughs> so I bring him out, right? Now I put a nice little saddle from the whole bullshit, put a red ribbon on it, right? And I said, she said, I said, that's your birthday present. Is you really that? I said, yeah, every weekend you come over here with daddy and go ride for a little bit. <laughs> so I said, what, what do you want to name it? Of course, it was black and white. She named it Patches, you know? Patches, good horse name. So my mother's standing there, right? So now my mother's holding the bridle, right? I put her in a saddle. I take the reins and I give it to my mother's still holding the bridle, not realizing that this horse never had anything on his back because it was a pony, right? So I let go of the fucking pony and he started fucking to jump my mother right away. Get this! I said, I said Ma, they went maybe about five, ten feet. The horse stopped, went to the side, she flew off the saddle. So I ran over to her. She's all right now. She's a little dirty and shit. And she says, she says, I don't want that goddamn horse there for my birthday. He don't like me. I said, Tara, this is the deal. If you don't get back up on him now, you'll never get on another horse in your life. That's right. I says, he doesn't know you, and he's got to get to know you, you know what I mean? Like, you got to get to know him. <laughs> she said, she looked at me. I was my mother. I said, don't you say a word. Well, yeah. So I put it back up on the side. But this time, I held her in, so I walked around. Walked around. So we did that a couple of weekends, and we got used to it, and that was that, you know? Good deal. Yeah. Hey, Good advice, Dad. You got to get, if you fall off a horse, you got to get right back on. I hope you liked that pony story. It's, it was pretty funny to me. The first time I heard it, I was hysterical. And uh, there's more to come. We have more animal stories. We're going to do one animal story every episode. Uh, but for right now, uh, don't forget to stay tuned this week for the first episode uh, in the, in the three-part series about uh, peace out uh, interaction with cops. And one cop who particular, in particular that wanted to kill Pete and take his life. And Roy got him out of town until the situation cooled down. So uh, we heard from a pretty good source that this uh, Officer Wendling uh, was going to take Pete out and make it look like an accident or like a uh, you know cop uh, bad guy interaction. So uh, Roy DeMeo actually paid for Pete to leave town. Stay tuned. Later this week, we're going to start that series. And you got to look and you got to subscribe to get to our live shows. We're going to try to do our first live show next Sunday. I'll let you know by midweek if we're actually going to do it. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, 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 and tell your friends.